All the predators have come out. Today is my dream come true because I get to show you the natural phenomenon of the great migration of the Maasai Mara. This is insane. Let's go. We made it. A direct flight bringing us to the most iconic place in all of Kenya. This is the Mara. This is why you come to Kenya, man. Nice to meet you, Toby. Nice to meet you, too. Okay. I'm so stoked. This We're gonna see lots of animals. To the migration! To the migration! To the migration! Huzzah! Visiting the Mara can add up pretty quick. Uh, already, the fees just to enter are $70 per day per person. Four of us, that's $280 per day. $840. At that rate, I hope we get to keep a zebra. So, to get here, we actually use Chelly and Peacock Safaris. And now, we're on the road. The moment you land is the moment you see action. We've got a giant herd of common zebras, but to me, they're not common. They're unique. And some wildebeest fascinating fact is that the sound that they make is, uh, no. Thanks, Robbie. Let's hope our vehicle is amphibious. I'm having the first time safari jitters right now. We've arrived here at the Sand River. Welcome home. Hello. Hello. Karibu. Welcome. Check it out, guys. To get to the room, it's an adventure. Whoa. 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 <laughs> Draw bridges, fun walkways. I'm just feeling bad for the guys with the luggage. As a well-adjusted North American, most of my African knowledge came from watching Tarzan as a child. This is exactly what I dreamed of. Look at this insane luxury tent. It's actually really big too. If you keep coming through, bringing you over here. Check this out. What tent have you ever seen that has a bathtub? You've got a his and her sink and the privacy room. If we unlock this for the baboon protection, you've got an outdoor shower right here. And the reason this hotel is called Sand River is cause this. The Sand River. Everybody here, especially this guy, we're needing an energy boost. Step one. And step two. And now we're ready for a safari. Are you gonna take us to the river? Yes, I'm gonna take you to the river. Oh man. Look at all that chicken. Tobiko has just spotted something that's very interesting. He sees about eight vultures all sitting in a tree and oftentimes vultures will watch a predator finishing their food. Could be nothing. Could be something. There it is. Oh my gosh. His head is up to the sky. So basically the lions, when they go for a kill on a big animal like this, they'll go for strangling at the windpipe. No, no, no. Do you hear all that noise over there? Those are thousands of wildebeest going We're crossing back over into Tanzania. I didn't think we'd be coming back so soon. Yeah. Have you guys seen the lions? You know the animals that go. Yeah, the ones that go. Meow, meow. But like a little bit bigger. A little bit bigger than a meow, but, yeah. but a little bigger. Guys, we have just found a pride of lions. There's about five or six of them here laying by the riverbank. When things get hot during the day, they need to find a way to cool down, and so they just lay down there in the river. I don't want to get too excited yet, but I'm going to anyways. The lions are right there, looking like they're ready for their next meal. And what's over here? But a giant herd of wildebeest. Look at all of them, they're just in a giant line. Oh my god, oh my god. Guys, it's stalking. Oh my god. It's happening. They're right there. They're very calculated as hunters. And most hunts will be a fail. He's moving closer. I've seen oh my god. He's it's going closer. Oh my god. Oh my god. Ooh, okay, he's like inching forward he's really every close. five, ten seconds. When I'm watching Nat Geo, I'm always rooting for the animals to get away. Not today, though. <laughs> Uh-oh, one of the wildebeest see him. 
No, he's like, oh, false alarm. Never mind. Unfortunately, he's been stalking them up into the hill a little bit, and now we've lost our visual on him. Yeah, that's been attacking. Oh, oh, guys, there it is. The wife has defended itself. Sun has set, and it was so beautiful. But it's gotten cold now. Luckily, we've all got ponchos again, and we're uh, trying to find the little oh, cup. The there. <gasps> Let's go. Oh. Oh. <laughs> right there. Yeah, that was really cool. Did we crack some beers? We've got yeah. some. We've got some tuskies. So this has been the beer we've been drinking all through East Africa. It's Tusker. <laughs> I'm glad I'm wearing a poncho. Slancha. Cheers, guys. To an amazing first night. After an incredible day, one of my favorite things is to go straight into the edit while everything is fresh. And over the last few days, I've been working with a brand new powerhouse of a creator tool. And this is the MSI Creator Z16. It's a laptop where tech meets aesthetic. With a built-in touchscreen capability, it's got NVIDIA Studio drivers, which gives you absolutely cutting edge performance. It even comes equipped with state-of-the-art 11th generation Intel chips, which means you've got up to eight cores making your workflow lightning quick. That means your video encoding, video playback, photo and video color grading, and even 8K video rendering will be absolutely seamless. No more waiting around for a laggy computer to get the job done. Just get right into the edit and get out so that you can get on to the next task. There's something massive going through the river right ahead of us. It's like... <laughs> What are you doing? There was a bat that flew up my face. Don't scare me like that. It scared me. Like there was like a lion behind me. <laughs> I'm really tense right now. Good morning, everyone. We have the best sunrise ever. How are we doing, lads? We're very excited. Oh. I don't know about you, but I'm quite yeah. excited. Was that hyenas? I think it was. Hyenas and jackals, they said. Wow. And wild Robbie snoring. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I need this. Thank you so much. The most beautiful African sunrise we've had so far. Guys, look, they're spelling something to us. It's like a big S formation over there. What do you think they're trying to say? SOS. I think they're trying to say, subscribe. They found them. So it looks like this guy started my honeymoon. Might not be a kill, but I think he's been getting busy last night. I think he's been getting jiggy with it. He's been getting jiggy with it for sure. That was magical. It only lasted about 15 seconds. I'm not shaming. When they mate, they do it for about a week. They don't eat, and they do it about every 10 to 15 minutes. We might just wait for the next round. <laughs> I feel kind of tricky doing this. Like, come on, do the sex for us. Do it. My heart is beating so fast. That was a way to a lot. We've given our two fellow lovers a bit of space and we've now found the rest of the family. The baby in the mouth has good blood. Oh, there's blood on the baby's yeah. mouth. Yeah. Oh, wow. Oh. Are they all going to land in that tree? Yes. <gasps> what? We are clearly coming up on the kill. <laughs> oh. It does not smell good. There's a tug of war going on over intestines. These really are the ugliest creatures in the animal kingdom, and they're really nasty in their behavior. It's like a free for all over there. Breakfast time. <laughs> <laughs> Meantime, I got some, uh, some brekkie, some burritos. Guys, we are having such a morning. There are hundreds of them just sprinting and sprinting. But, uh, yeah, they are preparing themselves to close. And it's happening! Oh my gosh! <laughs> <laughs> wow! We are seeing the rush hour of wildebeest now crossing from Tanzania into Kenya. And this is something I used to see on National Geographic that I only dreamed one day I would have myself. But to be right here right now, I am speechless. 
When we arrived here, a lot of people didn't want to get our hopes up because you don't know if you're gonna catch it. I think we've seen like the bucket list wildlife. People will wait a lifetime yeah. to see moments like this. We've had such a day. Yeah. Tabika, legend. Thank you. Thank you, man. Holy. What percentage of people get to see it when they come very, for migration? Very few. Very few. Honestly, very few. The fact that it finished that quick only makes me realize just that much more how freaking lucky we were. Yo, shout out to the content gods. I don't know what we got to deserve That's that, nice. but bless up. Guys, if you haven't already smashed the like button, <laughs> I'm gonna call your mom. <laughs> on that note, I want to say that for every like that's dropped on this video up to this point, I will be donating five cents to the conservation of the Maasai Mara. Over the next year, I'm going to be donating $100,000 to different causes as we travel around the world. So if you want to help out, then make sure to hit the subscribe button too to hang around and see what else is next. And there they are guys. They're now Kenyan wildebeest. Congratulations guys. I hope you uh, brought your passports and got it stamped. Yeah. And look who's still here. Hey guys. My man, the one pump champ. <laughs> He's still going strong. What? what? No way. Just on its tail, just look there is uh... Oh, there's, oh yes. Yeah? yeah. Someone's eating it down there. Oh, oh look, they're just dragging it. That was legitness. There are probably at least 10,000 animals just in this small little area. No. We have made it to the famous Mara River. This is the infamous crossing scene where wildebeest are jumping from the top of a hill, sometimes crashing down into the rocks, getting snapped up by crocodilia. But the truth is, there's no herds, no big ones at least, are in this area. But there are hippos. hippos. Oh, look at them. It has gotten really hot. When the sun comes out, the temperature 180s. And these guys basically use that water there to keep themselves cooled down. You can probably tell they've got a few layers on them. Ah, what a day. What a day. We now have a picnic in the middle of the Maasai Mara and we have way too many photos to go through tonight. So I'm gonna get started on this workflow here. With the MSI Creator Z16, you have wild battery life. It allows you to get through your workflow no matter where you are, whether you're in the Maasai Mara, a plane, a train, an automobile, under a tree full of bats. And this screen is one of the standout features. It's got a 16 by 10 ratio, so everything that you need to be productive is available to you on screen, less time scrolling, and with four built-in speakers, you get amazing sound. One of the really cool things about this computer too is it comes with Wi-Fi 6E. This is the laptop for creators, digital nomads, and people that live their lives like this. It's time to offload some footage and eat. This has been the most action-packed safari. Lions, giraffes, elephants, we've seen everything except for a leopard and a cheetah. Wow, look at this sunset, guys. Oh my gosh, it's so stunning. Good morning, it is our final day. Tobiko. Hello. We'll go and see a hunt for cheetahs and see whether we'll make it. Mm. See what nature is going to give us. Cheetah time? Cheetah time. We've arrived in cheetah country, a very flat and tall grassed area here in the Mara. This is quite literally finding a needle or a cheetah in a haystack. You look on the left, I'll look on the right. You see a lion? Yes. Yep. We just drove five kilometers. I don't know how he saw this. Beautiful. They are very hungry. How do you know they're hungry? Because it's yawning. Oh. Right now it's not hot for them to yawn, you know. What on earth? Nothing's eating him. Not eating even the neck, no. He's just naturally... Well, I guess that's the nicest way to go in the animal kingdom. Alright, so while we were looking at the zebra, we got a call on the radio that the three female pack of lions made a kill. So now we're rushing to go see what that kill is. This is so fascinating. We didn't catch the kill, but we got the lion eating uh, a very, very fresh zebra. But the crazy thing is, right in front of it is a dead wildebeest being snacked on by at least 50 vultures. Behind it, you've got a jackal and a hyena trying to get in at this dead zebra snack. But the lion's 
probably not going to be down for that. I don't <laughs> think they're uh, that big on sharing. This is like a freaking scene. All the predators have come out. <laughs> we finally found this, the cheetahs. It's just unbelievable. Just an hour ago, we were having lunch and I was so kindly interrupted by a family of elephants as I was on a phone call and they were letting out their crazy noises. And you're just taken back and you're reminded how wild this land is. I'm so grateful to have had this time here. I love you guys. To the Mara. We'll always have the Mara. So is the life of being a digital nomad. You get comfortable in one place and then it's time to go. You guys ready? We're ready. <laughs> Ready Don't cry because it's over. Smile because it happened. Oh, okay. We have made it to the Kikorok landing strip. We're getting back to Nairobi with the same way we got here, using Chelly and Peacock. They basically arranged all our transportation and did all the heavy lifting for us. Getting here was super easy. We've been very fortunate to have met you. Thank you so much, Tobiko. So this much. guy has eagle eyes. He doesn't miss a thing. It's time to hit the road. Watch your head. Hi. Pilot. Today is my first flight. I just got my license yesterday. Pancakes. There was one rule. Don't touch anything. <laughs> I didn't touch anything. And welcome to today's Digital Nomad Headquarters. If I were to close on the Z16, it is the Creator laptop. It's a beautiful body with state-of-the-art performance all packed into it. It's got all the ports that you need, a micro SD card reader, and with that, Guys, I wanna say thank you so much for supporting the channel by making it this far. If you wanna stay tuned for the Africa series, hit subscribe, there's way more to come. And if you really enjoyed this video, leave a like. It's free to do and it's a big way to help out the channel. So guys, let's get lost again in the next one.